this is the answer to uh, what is your ideal implant I've given you an example of total hip replacement but keep in mind that uh, it could be used for total knee replacement or any other implant also as Shuan and Farhan and the others had rightfully said this question is clearly about whether you understand the concepts and the rationale of why you would use an implant and it is meant as a discussion for all the points available for discussion for that topic rather than failing you or passing you because you said Exeter or Chan Lee or Coral etc. Also I'm just giving you the answer but obviously in the Viva setting you will be stopped and asked uh, about a particular point you've mentioned but the points I'm raising are enough for you to talk about a particular point if it is asked any further. I also agree with uh, uh, Shuan that you can either say what implant you'll use in a generic form and then say therefore I will use the generic name like Exeter or Coral etc or if you want to start immediately saying the implant type you've used then start by saying I will use an Exeter hip system or a Coral hip system and then immediately don't just stop there immediately clarify it with because and then carry on so the points on which you will be marked or passed on will be the following so, so this is the question to an to your ideal total hip replacement full stop you can start by telling the examiner that I my ideal uh, hip replacement or you can start by saying my default hip is the exeter hip and you can also say corral or C stem or anything so you can start by saying my default hip is the exeter hip because I want a hip system that reproduces the patient's normal virgin anatomy and I want a hip system that supplies an inventory for all anatomic variants with a robust templating kit which the Exeter system supports full stop then you can say I want a hip system which reproduces the most important things in a hip replacement which is the neck length the offset and the neck angle and once again the Exeter hip system provides me with all these variants full stop then say I want a hip system which reproduces the optimal head neck ratio and hence I want a hip system which provides me an inventory of all available femoral size heads full stop then say I want a hip system which provides me with the flexibility of all bearing surfaces and I will modify its usage keeping in mind cost full stop then say I want a hip system which is nice approved with a long-term track record in all age groups then you can quote two types of papers and use these words long-term survival studies of this system by XXX has shown that as well as saying that patient reported outcome measures have also been satisfactory with this implant and then add that it's also ODEPTEM rating and hence I can justify the use in my trust with procurement full stop obviously by now you will have been stopped somewhere and told to expand on a particular point you've mentioned but at least you know what the points are in a hip replacement system which are important and you can have two three lines on that for example because you use the word head neck ratio they can ask why is head neck ratio important and then you can write two three lines or you can mention two three lines on that talking about excursion dislocation rate etc 
when you talk about bearing surfaces, you can say and talk about ceramic on ceramic versus ceramic on poly. And once again, you can say and use the word laboratory studies have suggested a wear rate of XXX for this and XXX for that. However, I do know that long term studies may not have borne that out. Full stop. Hence, do not get into a controversy for there is no true answer as to what is the best bearing surfaces. But these two words, that is, laboratory studies suggest this and long term survival studies suggest that are a good way of describing any papers. Full stop. In my three slides I've sent you, I've talked about initial stable fixation and ongoing stable lifelong fixation. For, say it is a cemented polished stem and know how the exeter system works. And if you're talking about an uncemented system, then need to know one or two lines of how an uncemented stem works. As regards NJR, please mention NJR, but mention NJR information when you're talking about the NICE guidelines, ratings, long-term survival studies, etc. As the NJR is just part of your armamentarium of information as to an implant, I would not suggest you immediately start by saying anything about the NJR, of course include it. But include it in this section full stop thank you mr mahalakshmiwala